Hi guys and welcome to Homegrown Herbs. So this is a little surprise as such. Um, this girl um, started pairing. Uh, originally there was no sort of love interest. Uh, I originally thought they were just going to miss this year. Uh, first year of doing the colour breeds um, pairing wise and breeding wise. Obviously we had the mandarins uh, last year but it wasn't sort of us pairing them. They came and they had already had babies so um <clears throat> with these ones as i said there was no interest originally when i did originally start to see locks uh counted my standard 56 days um to give me the pre off to then have the babies um have the eggs this girl only went 40 days um so she's 21 days off from what i was so obviously I still have some learning to do. Uh, caught me a little unaware because I hadn't set up the incubator, which was my fault more than anything. Um, so thank you to Andy at Audi's Balls um, for the poly box to set up in the emergency. Um, got that all set up last night, so I'm going to take the eggs this morning. As you can see, um, one of the telltale signs that I found was a bit weird. Obviously, I hadn't put a lay box or anything in just because, again, I wasn't sort of due yet. Um, but I did notice she started moistening her tub quite a lot, um, knocking the water and basically soaking it so it was damp all the time. Um, so it was a clear indication really that there was something going on. It was just something I missed um, and something I shall learn on next time. Uh, with this girl, um, I don't know if it's a normal thing with Clubridge, but she has dropped the eggs and then just sort of buggered off. Um, I presume Clubridge just seem to be like that. They're not really like pythons that sort of incubate them. So I'm going to take these ones and we'll get them set up in the uh, incubator and see how we're going about 65 days, I think it is, for standard milk. So see how it goes. These are really pretty snakes. Um, they're what they call aberrant white-sided Stuart milk snakes. Um, they are very pretty animals, um, especially as babies. Um, the whites on them are shocking white. Um, and these two in particular are very, very large patch for the whiting so obviously <coughs> we're hoping that the babies sort of mimic that or even blow that up a little bit more so there may even be a hole back out of this as well so we'll see all right <coughs> try not to freak her out as much because she's a bit of a sketty girl this one um so as you can see we've got a little slug um uh, which is sort of standard yours get a little slug sometimes but we've got what looks to be six pearly whites, uh, all looking good. Um, as I say, as the lays where they stay, um, only time I really pull them apart um, is if they're too high for the box, or I feel there's a reason behind doing it. Um, sort of like the weight of all of them might crush one of them, something so. Like that. But I tend not to pull them apart. Um, till like pretty much they're close to hatch um, and then they'll pull up really easily and the only reason I do that is that I never want uh, a baby to pop out and go straight through another one um, neither drowned or obviously burst the one when it's not due so alright as you see with my colubrids I tend not to well with the mandarins I don't and I'm not going to do with this one um, I don't use a egg crate um, I tend to stuff them right down in the vermiculite so we'll see here we go we get this girl cleaned out and um, get a new bedding in there, get her bathed and then see if we can bang some feed down her. Um, I don't know to be honest whether I'll be double clutching her. Um, we'll see how she goes, see if she feels and looks like to me that she's putting up weight on and that she's able to go again I might try her um, but we'll see how it goes. So fingers crossed guys, we'll uh, see you in 65 days. Um, I have got a clutch of the ball pythons which is the weird pastel hepoids to the weird super pastel hepoids that are homegrown here um but they are well they're actually two days over now um so we'll see how that goes it should be within the next week or so or two of the thought so i'll keep you posted okay guys take care keep smiling and don't forget let's teach not preach